Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of announcing that Kuraj Anad will deliver the opening prayer. All rise, please. Om Kar Kripa Prabhu Deen Deala Teri Aut Puran Gopala Ram Krishna Nashe Sabroga Johe Bhati Vane Sayaga Om Thank you very much. Please remain standing as Assemblyman Upendra Chivakula from the 17th District leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Resolution on the clerk's desk. Assembly resolution. Whereas the General Assembly of the State of New Jersey is pleased to honor and salute Vranaya Merchant, editor of New India Times, Reheat Vihaz, anchor TV Asia, Kul Raj Anand, program director EDC Radio, Sunil Hali, CEO and publisher of Cinemaya Group, Aziz A. Nifa, reporter Indiana Abroad, Benjamin Yu, MKTV and Korean TV, and James Kim, Vice President of MKTV. Highly esteemed members of their communities in recognition of their praiseworthy, praise, praiseworthy contributions as pioneers of Asian media during Asian History Month. And whereas within all the spheres of their lives and work, they have established a model to emulate and to set a standard of excellence towards which others might strive. And whereas it's altogether proper and fitting for the members of this house to pause in its deliberations, to commend these individuals, and to praise their strong character and exceptional determination. Now, therefore, it be it resolved by the General Assembly of the State of New Jersey that this house hereby honors and salutes these pioneers, pays tributes to their records of achievements and accomplishments, and extends sincere best wishes for continued success in all future endeavors. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Assemblyman Chivakula. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today is a very historic event for Asian Americans. In 1978, President Jimmy Carter announced the Asian American Week in uh, Washington, D.C. And subsequently, uh, President George Herbert Walker Bush declared the month of May as the Asian American Heritage Month, and it continued on. In New Jersey, for the first time, we are passing a resolution uh, to recognize uh, Asian American Heritage Month and declare May as that, and it's a very special day. And special occasion for me. And when you look at Asian Americans in New Jersey, uh, in the 2000 census showed that there were 6% of the New Jersey population hailed from Asian American uh, Pacific Islands. And uh, in the recent uh, numbers show that it's nearly 7.5% of the Asian Americans reside in uh, New Jersey. And uh, it is a special day and we have to recognize these are the new immigrants who are coming into the United States making contribution to this great nation. And it is appropriate that with your permission, uh, Mr. Speaker, that uh, we recognize the uh, people. And also, I want to uh, first welcome uh, public advocate Ron Chen, who has joined us. He's one of the uh, two Asian appointments that was made by Governor John Corza. Let's welcome him first, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. we would like to have uh, Rohit Vyas say a few words, a couple of, one minute here. Yeah. With your permission? Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Yaz is the, um, uh, the, the anchor of TV Asia. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, honorable Speaker, respected lawmakers in this August Assembly, first of all, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart uh, for this uh, distinct honor. Assemblyman Chivakula, thank you, sir, uh, for, for this initiative, you and your staff who are right here, uh, who've worked so hard. All I wanted to say was this, that in my travels across the world, wherever I go, if there's truly one province or a state that is a global state, it is the Garden State of New Jersey. And we can all be extremely proud uh, wherever we go, wherever I, I go. And I just have to say, I'm from New Jersey, and a broad smile is cracked on faces, and people say, aha, the most diversified, the most culturally rich state in North America. Great to meet you. Uh, 
And on a personal note, because I'm also a musician on the side, I just wanted to say, not only am I proud to make New Jersey my home uh, for so many years, for more than a quarter of a century, but I'm all the more uh, glad to be here uh, with, in the company of the of John Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen. Thank you all very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Veena Merchant, with your permission, Speaker. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Assemblymen and Women, I am really touched and overwhelmed as I am by this honor, but I am inclined to expect, accept this, not so much as a recognition of my own individual work, but my long-time mentor, late Gopal Raju, to the growth of minority journalism in the United States. The newspapers he founded was India Abroad, the first in the market, and others that came under his stewardship, such as News India Times and Desi Talk, made the, made the community aware of the mainstream and the mainstream aware of the community. He upheld the highest standards of objectivity in journalism, taking pains to represent all sides of an issue. I have only implemented to my best Raju's standards, keeping the news columns free from editorializing. I also accept this honor as rec recognition of the importance of the oldest branch of the fourth estate, print journalism. Changes in demography and technology and taste have lured away readership and revenue. But I accept this honor as representative of beleaguered but unbowed print journalism. It is, however, in one of my forays into television as host of the talk show Capital Debates on TV Asia. <laughs> I sponsored by Indian American Center, which Gopal had started to empower the Indian community, that I came face to face with the Deputy Speaker, Upendra Chivakula. Everyone knows him as an Asian Indian to be elected to the New Jersey Assembly and returned four times to the Assembly, currently serving as Deputy Speaker. But apart from his public image, I was exposed to his candid and sharp political views and his depth of knowledge. What particularly impressed me was his expertise he combined expertise with his straightforward honesty, often sharply pulling up the community, <laughs> which is very unusual. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the Honorable Assemblymen and Women for this recognition. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, you would like to say a few words? <laughs> thank you very much. Let me um, welcome all of our guests. We are very, very honored to have you with us today. Not only is the, uh, the Asian community, the Asian Indian community growing in, in our state in a significant way that makes us immensely proud, each of you as members of the media have done so much to, to allow us to effectively communicate to a very important constituency in our state. So we are very, very grateful for that and very honored to have you with us today. All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed nay. The ayes have it and the resolution is adopted. Thank you and congratulations.